Matthew 7, verses 1 and 2. Do not judge, or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Jesus' statement, do not judge, is against the kind of hypocritical, judgmental attitude that tears others down in order to build oneself up. It is not a blanket statement against all critical thinking, but a call to be discerning rather than negative. When Jesus said, do not judge, I don't believe that he was saying that we should approve of others' sinful actions when it goes against the Bible. But rather, he was saying that we should give the grace and love that he gives. And the way we, the standard that we hold others up to, Jesus is going to hold us up to that same standard. So do we want Jesus to give us grace and love? And do we give that to others? Do we give our children grace and love? Or do we approach them from a place of, you cannot make mistakes, you need to be perfect? Do we approach our spouse with grace and love? Or do we think they need to be perfect and never make mistakes? Jesus wants us to treat others the way that we want to be treated. So when someone does something that goes against the Bible or that is sin, rather than coming from a place of judgment and criticism and putting them down, we should come from a place of grace and love. And we will have a much bigger impact on that person's life if we approach it in that way instead of coming from a place of criticism and judgment.